Kevin James is back in another Adam Sandler produced comedy and it's not Paul Blart 3, so let's rejoice. Welcome to the Metaverse. Ben Friedman, welcome to the Beniverse, and thank you for joining me today for my review of the newest Happy Madison release, Home Team. And this stars Kevin James, Taylor Lautner, and Rob Schneider, three actors who are critically acclaimed and on the likes of a Denzel Washington or Tom Hanks. I mean, I'm sure someone's put them in the same sentence together. This film follows real-life NFL coach for the New Orleans Saints, I believe actually just recently retired sean payton this follows payton post his super bowl win with the saints and into the allegations and incident known in the nfl as bounty game home team does not talk about that at all just right off the bat they don't touch on the allegation except that is the reason that drives payton to go home and see his kid is because he's suspended from the nfl they make one other reference to bounty gate and that's when his kid asks him is it true and he says it's kind of complicated that's all they mention about it so in a movie about sean payton post his bounty gate scandal they don't touch on that arguably the more interesting movie but okay instead this movie focuses on sean payton coaching his kids football team now this is based on a true story Peyton actually did this with his one year suspension from the nfl he did coach his kids football team to the degree of the events that happened in this film i do not know i did not research it i'm sorry i didn't care enough what i can tell you is home team is a really bad movie that had the chance of being an inspirational sports movie at its core but never lives up to it just due to its comedy let me hit some of the positives real quick. Kevin James as Sean Payton is actually pretty good in this movie. He doesn't resort to the typical Kevin James, oh, I'm the big guy, I'm going to fall around. He's a very grounded character. I think he's trying to play Payton pretty straight and as Payton was actually in this situation. They never really put Payton in the comedic chair in this film they just allowed james to play the straight man which is a nice change of pace for kevin james i actually liked him in this role and i think a better film could have suited him also another guy i have to give praise to because i'm was kind of shocked with how good i found him in this movie taylor lautner is a very genuine presence within this film he also is playing it pretty straight none of the big laughs are going around that character he is just trying to be a good coach and a good mentor to these kids when he's playing it completely sincere it works and i think he is charismatic to carry his own weight within this film and i found his character endearing while james and lautner were good in the film i can't say that about most of the other adult cast in this film in particular rob schneider and gary valentine i found their characters to be insanely annoying rob schneider is doing his rob schneider shtick he's a vegan in this movie he's doing some basic jokes he's a weird looking guy they do all the normal hits with rob schneider are you surprised that's how they use rob schneider in this film in fairness i don't know how else you could use rob schneider he is just all those things and Gary Valentine, he has a few moments in the film that are pretty genuinely funny as the other assistant coach. But for the most part, his humor is so broad and at times gross out that I just didn't find it endearing or charming. And that's an issue with a lot of this film. The comedy just never lands in this movie. And it's weird because had they just simply stripped all the comedy out of this movie, it is a conventional yet satisfying enough film on its own it didn't need the comedy within this film to work all the comedy does is degrade the story and just makes the movie worse in every sense of the way possible for instance there's this one scene and i kid you not where rob schneider gives the kids these vegan snacks right before a big game and the joke is for four minutes straight they just puke i'm not kidding it is all the kids out on the field just start puking on each other for literally a few minutes. And that's the joke. Had you just taken the scene out, it wasn't necessary to the movie. It doesn't seem to be based in real life. And it just wasn't needed. Had you taken scenes like this out, all of a sudden, 
I'm able to root for this movie and it feels more sincere and I don't have to deal with the gross out humor which is so unfunny in this movie. And this isn't the only example of this within this film. It's just the most prominent scene and the one that comes to mind. But there are other instances where the humor is just like, had you simply stripped it away? This film's endearing enough. It has a good sweet story about Sean Payton connecting with his kid. Now, I already said I'm not an expert on the Bounty Gate stuff. I don't know much about Peyton as a coach or as a person. If you're doing Sean Peyton, how are you not doing a movie about Bounty Gate? But regardless, that's not the movie they chose to do. And the issue with that is everything that happens within the first 20 minutes of this film where they are dealing with him as an NFL coach, winning the Super Bowl, and then being suspended... That is insanely more interesting than everything else that happens following that event. And I get it. That's not the story they chose to tell. That I'm totally fine with it. The issue with it is when you present it within the first 10-15 minutes of the movie and then never come back to it. I'm just left wanting more of that. That's a really interesting story. What became of it? How did this affect him? How was Peyton kind of perceived? Through this, in this, it's not really any of that. It is really just Peyton is now just this clown uh, bashed by the media. And he's kind of just seen as a villain. They don't deal with any of the psychosis nature. Which again, it's a Happy Madison production. Maybe it's my fault for expecting that. It probably is. Regardless, it doesn't delve into it. It doesn't talk anything significant about the NFL. It doesn't even try to tell a cohesive story. None of it makes sense. And then the beats that do hit in the story where it is supposed to be the sweeter moments, they kind of fall flat. One, because, again, they're infused with this comedy that's just not landing. Two, it's because it seems so unrealistic at scenes. There's a few scenes where you're just like, this is too far-fetched even for this movie. I can't say much more about Home Team. It's a Kevin James Happy Madison production. At this point, you know what that entails, and it's that typical Sandler humor. Sometimes it really works, sometimes it misses the marks completely. This one misses the mark completely, yet the issue is I did actually see something that resembles a good story within this mess. And I think had they just chose to focus on the elements, and even if you ignore Bounty Gate, if it's just a simple story about a coach reconnecting with his estranged son, I think it's a much more endearing film and one that at least has a heart and reason for being in existence. Ultimately, this film just feels like a waste of time and it's one that I never need to revisit. Home Team, not a great start for Netflix this year. Anyway, that's my review. Thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.